We're learning more about some of the victims of the tragic hot air balloon crash in Eloy that left four people dead and another seriously hurt. The NTSB providing some new information as it prepares for a several week long investigation while four families now prepare to lay their loved ones to rest. The Eloy Police Department identified the victims as Caitlin Bardum, Chaitan Wieschelek, Aitan Kilakote and the balloon's pilot was Cornelius Vanderwalt. We've learned that the pilot worked for Droplin Hot Air Balloon Rides, which regularly offers tours around Eloy. On its website, it says that they have regular safety inspections and a perfect safety record. Monday night, the NTSB released more information about that investigation, saying it was so far unable to isolate any issues with the balloon or its basket. They believe there was an issue with its envelope, but that's going to take more examination. The NTSB says that it could take up to three weeks for a final report. We do have a statement from the hospital in Indiana where one of the victims worked. It reads in part, quote, we were tremendously saddened to hear of Caitlin Katie Bartram's tragic passing. Our hearts go out to her family and friends for their loss. A condolence tree will be placed in the Lutheran Hospital cafeteria for employees to write their thoughts about Katie, leaving them the tree and then be given to the family in her honor. We'll be sure to keep you updated and bring you information about the other victims as we learn of it. News 4 Tucson spoke with an experienced skydiver as well who knew two of the victims. You can hear what he had to say by going to our YouTube channel. That's News 4 Tucson KVOA.